The Sportsman's Guides at 2024 SHOT Show, the shooting, hunting, outdoor trade show, biggest show in the industry to talk about all the cool new products coming in 2024. We're in the Hollow Sun booth. We are tucked away, so we've got a little bit of quiet time here with Adam, uh, and he is going to go through basically what's new for 2024, kind of a, across the gamut of the entire breadth of selection from Hollow Sun. Yeah. Mark, we always enjoy Sportsman's Guide in the booth and just happy you guys stop by again. Uh, so let's just start with kind of what set the internet on fire, and that's this guy right here. So this is the DPS, or digital pistol sight, and this is actually a thermal optic. So what we were able to do is take this right here, and this is not only a white light, see the white light there, this is also a thermal camera. It then sends that information wirelessly to this guy and provides a digital thermal overlay wow. of what it's seeing. Now the cool thing is, this is also a regular red dot. So you could use this as a standard red dot and a standard flashlight, but combined, you know, they can join their powers, become a thermal red dot. That's pretty cool. So there's no estimated release on this. There's no estimated price on this right now. Probably see more of it end of the year, beginning next year. But this is a proof of concept showing exactly where the red dot market could be headed uh, as you think outside the box and really go for the stars. That's amazing. So that's that's that one to keep an eye out for, for 100%. sure. 100%. The next two are these ones right here, and this is our digital uh, rifle sight thermal and digital rifle sight night vision. You guys probably reported on this last year. It's been the mm -hmm. craze since 2023. And guess what, guys? This is shipping. This is going to be shipping uh, the next two weeks. Or nice. sorry, uh, sorry, night vision shipping currently. Thermal is the next two to four weeks. Nice. The uh, you do have digital zoom on these. You have to record uh, video and take pictures. Increase and decrease brightness settings and much more. You can also use this as a standalone red dot. So if you flip down this cover right here, that is just a standard red dot optic. But if you want to, you can always put that up, gives you a little more contrast, and you can run it as a yeah, uh, again multifunction. Correct. And last year you couldn't get in the booth with this coming out last no. year. Yeah, I mean you literally could not step into this booth at any point in time of the day because everybody wanted to see this. Right, and the and the with night vision, sh night vision shipping now and thermal in two weeks, all I feel about this was vaporware and it would never happen. It's more for clout. And now we're hitting the market, guys. So That's we're awesome. excited. Uh, which obviously you're going to find yours where? At Sportsman's Guide. Correct. Uh, so uh, the night vision is about $1,000 and thermal is about $1,600. Uh, so really standard, really great price points for those. Absolutely. Uh, they take 18 350 batteries here in the side with a QD style ratchet system to open it up and close it. Uh, and that's kind of those guys right there. Now, staying in that night vision and that kind of atmosphere, we're looking right here at the Hollow Sun Iris. The Iris is our new IR Illuminator, IR Laser, and Visible Laser Aiming Module. So this guy is kind of our more efficient, more condensed version of what we released previously. I'm gonna flip this around to the camera there, and you can see how thin, or very efficiently set up that is, and how close to the board is right here be your, uh, your Picatinny Railroad mount too. Mm -hmm. You have your, uh, your crane switch cable connector right there, and you have your selector here of what you're gonna select. Is it visible laser, IR laser, IR laser and pointer? You have your manual override switch here. That if you don't have a, a uh, crane switch installed, you can go ahead and hit that, it'll fire it up. And then what I think is really cool, great idea here, is gonna be this. This little slider right here increases and decreases the level of focus of and spread of the IR illuminator. So before, you'd have to go back here and kind of twist things around and figure out what you're gonna do. But now you have this guy where you can slide that back and forth. We'll keep your hand on the firing system as you work. Right. This is going to hit this hit around quarter two of this year, right around the eight hundred dollar price point. Okay. So fantastic price point for this. It also uses the Vixel technology, which means your IR illuminator, while under the civilian spectrum, is incredibly bright. So wait for that to hit the market as the Hollow Sun Iris. Now, nice. one of my favorites of the show is the Hollow Sun Raid. This is our new white light flashlight. This is a 80,000 candela, 1,000 lumen, 18650 battery here, can be removed. It has a uh, Picatinny mount that comes with it and an M lock that can be removed also ah, and use the okay. standard, right? How many times do you buy a new cool toy and then you find out, oh, it only mounts to X and I need right. Y? Comes with both. You can also remove this, use any uh, scout mounting technology, or remove it, uses a handheld light as well. The battery can also be charged via this magnetic charging port here in the back. You can also take this take this end cap off, take the battery out, and put a new one in. There's two tail caps. One will be a pressure switch with your finger. One will be a crane switch as well. So you have all that for about $180 in quarter two of this year. Very nice. Now, staying in the white light side of things, we have the Hollow Sun PIDK and PIDK Plus. The Plus has a uh, green laser built into it. The uh, PIDK is a standard white light option. 
Okay. These are the condensed versions of our PID. K is generally the footprint used in the firearms industry to be that smaller footprint. 10,000 candela, 1,000 lumens, about 140 to 180 dollars wow. in quarter two again of this year, 2024. Next, Good we're going to move into our red dot pistol sights here, which we're known for, every loves. Absolutely. The first one here is our newest offering of the SCS sight, the solar charging sight. This one is now for the CZP10. Now, a lot of people are thinking, that's a weird name for an optic. Well, here's the thing. These are made for the gun you're shooting them on. Right. So if you have a Glock, you use the MOS version. CZP10, you use the CZP10 version, HK, DHK. So this actually mounts directly to your gun, no plate necessary, and you can use your iron sights co-witnessing through it. So it's a big improvement for a lot of different things. Now, also, it has an internal rechargeable battery charged by the solar panels in the rear. This is gonna help you go on and on and on. You don't have to worry about charging this thing. A, a couple hours of charge time gets you months of run time. Nice. Great option for anyone. It's kind of a set it and forget it type of a thing. Absolutely. Now, for those that may live somewhere like me, which is Ohio and it rains, snows, and there's cats <laughs> and dogs flying at you from all angles, <laughs> uh, we have a fully enclosed version of the SCS. It's called the SCS Carry. So that is fully enclosed, has built-in iron sights in the rear, solar panel on top, which charges the internal battery. Okay. One button design right there that does everything, changing the reticle, turning it on and off. And it fits our Hollis on K footprint, which is very popular right now. Again, quarter two of this year. Next is a collab with the Ronin Tactics Group and Two Lamb over there. It had, it's an EPS carry, a standard version, with his Dragon logo on top. Okay. And then along with that collab is this guy right here. This is the Ames Max. This has Ronan's uh, logo on the side there. On the other side is a QD mounting system. And then a solar panel that probably was meant to charge a Tesla car. We decided why not throw it on an optic though. Sure. Great viewport here in the back. Lots of great options here. We have one on a rifle out front. Everyone has been absolutely loving this optic. Nice. Lastly, to round this out, we have our new Hollow Sun 6X magnifier. So this is our newest delve into the magnification realm. Right now, we generally stick with the 3X. We're now expanding that to 6X as well. It has our very sturdy click to side when it's being moved out of the way. Uh -huh. Very solid snap in when it's there. QD mounting system. And this is going to be a great new option for anyone that wants to really reach out there and see what their optics can do. Absolutely. That is awesome. And all of this coming soon. Yes. To the Sportsman's Guide.